Hey there, thank you for coming here. In this video, we'll write some Python code to record our screen without the use of any other additional software. This code will take less than 20 lines and it will be really easy to understand. So let's get started. In the first step, we need to import the necessary Python modules. Here, we'll be making use of three modules, OpenCV, PyAutoGUI, and NumPy. These modules can be easily installed using the pip installer. In the next step, we'll define three variables. The first one is the screen size. This is nothing but the resolution of our screen. My screen resolution is 1920 by 1080. You can look up your screen resolution and update it accordingly. The second variable is the file name in which we are going to save our recording. And the third variable is the window name. This is the name of the window that will show what is being recorded. You'll understand it while running the program. In the next step, we'll set up a window using OpenCV. We'll write three lines of code. The first one is to define a new window, cv2.named window, which takes the window name as the first argument. And the second argument is the type of the window. I'm going to set it as cv2.window normal. The second line is to resize the window. We'll resize it to 600 by 600. Remember that this is only the window that shows the recorded content and not the actual screen. The actual screen's dimensions are stored in the screen size variable. The third line is cv2.destroy all windows. This line should be executed at the end of the program. Therefore, our main logic should be written about this line. In the next step, we'll define a video writer using cv2.videowriter. This is used to write the contents of the recording into the file that we have defined. The first argument will be the file name. The second argument will be the video codec. The third argument is the frame rate, which I'm going to set it as 60. And then the last argument would be the screen size. The next step is to record the video. To record the video, we'll write an infinite loop. And during each iteration, we take a screenshot of our screen. All these screenshots that are generated in each iteration are combined together to form video recording. Therefore, the first step is to take a screenshot. This can be done using the PyAutoGUI module. Now, the screenshot needs to be converted into a format that is compatible with the video writer. Therefore, we convert the screenshot into a NumPy array and then convert it into an RGB format. This converted frame can be used by the video writer to write into the file. In order to parallelly view what is being recorded, we also display the frame in the window that we have defined above using cv2.imshow function. Then we'll have to write the exit code to stop recording and come out of the infinite loop using cv2.waitkey function. Here, 27 refers to the escape key on the keyboard. This means that when we press on escape key while recording, the recording would stop and the window will be closed. Finally, we'll release the video writer object using video writer dot release function. Let's run this program now. Here, you can see this window with the title that I've given and also the dimensions are 600 by 600. It is showing us the content that is being recorded, right? And the content is my whole screen. We can also see that the AVI file has been created and the content is being written into the file right now. I'll stop this recording now by pressing the escape key. The AVI file is now ready to be played. I'll open it from the file explorer. There you go. We have the video. So this is a very simple and easily understandable code to record our screen. Please feel free to share any ideas or suggestions or improvements as it would be really helpful.